Do you see this thing? Do you see it? Dang boy, you thick. No, not that. This right here. It's one of my favorite things in this game. This person knows what's up because this thing is basically like the ancient world's Katusha rocket launcher. This thing does work to the enemy army and I just love them. And you know what's cooler? Since Total War Warhammer 3 only has two rules. The first is the rule of cool. If it's cool, you do it. Lines and lines of pikemen is cool. Heavy cavalry is cool. Giant terracotta warriors that tower over your army is cool. Repeating crossbows is cool. Now, these things are really cool, but what would be even cooler is if you got these and put them on a hot air balloon. Oh yeah, that is cool too. Winged Hussar inspired cavalry are cool. The only thing cooler than that is bear cavalry, yes. But what about when your lord can turn into a dragon? Now that is pretty freaking amazing too. Now you're telling me I get to use all of these things in a battle? Wait a minute, there's there's got to be a way to make this even better. Oh, there is. Let me let me show you. $12,000. Unit scale, well, ultra. So we have all of the guys. Default funds, no thank you. Give me 10 billion Jeff Bezos dollars. Now, we're gonna have a balanced army. A dragon, and then a bunch of Katyusha rocket launchers. Because if one is cool, well then hundreds are cooler. Now let, let's just watch what it looks like when all of these fire. Now that is glorious. Now let's check on my enemies real quick. They don't look like they're doing too hot. Now, I think the only thing that is cooler than all of this is the fact that Creative Assembly has sponsored for me to play this game. Now, I am a huge fan of the Total War franchise. I've been playing since Shogun Total War, the original. This is what it looks like to see your enemies flee before you. You see that little red bar? That means they're dying. They, they, they don't like this at all. But you know what? It doesn't matter because I like it. Oh, I like it quite a bit. Are you guys all right? Is, uh, oh, these poor bear cavalry, man. I mean, they're getting hit with Chinese fireworks right here, but don't worry. Yeah, I guess you're right, guys. We should probably bring in a dragon, okay? Mr. Dragon guy, come on in. But yeah, Creative Assembly wants me to let you know that Total War Warhammer 3 is coming out February 17th. And if you pre-order, you get access to the Ogres DLC for free if you get the game within the first week of launch. What's up, Big Papa? Jeez, I mean, these things are amazing, right? And I know you guys are probably asking the same question as I am. What would happen if we put all of these rocket launchers on airships? That way, when the enemy starts running away, well, we're gonna have a much better chance chasing them. And the battle was, <laughs> I get it. I have a dragon and 19 different fire rain rocket batteries. Is this just not the prettiest thing you've ever seen? Rockets in the ground are cool, but rockets on a floating airship are cooler. And where one airship is cool, well, more is just cooler. But unlike the last game, the enemy is packing a little bit of a punch because their entire army is made up of archers. So I'm kind of curious what happens when you have these things firing all of these explosive rockets at the enemy. A poor archer having to rush at hot air balloons. Armed with rockets. Oh, yeah. If they get too close, we've got black powder guns. Look at that. These guys are doomed. I think we're going to have to have a battle where it's rockets versus rockets. All right. You may fire when ready because those archers are going to get in close. Once they are in range, they're going to be able to mess us up a little bit. Look at that. This is awesome. The lines are starting to form and they are starting to release their arrows. And it looks like they're focusing down or trying to focus down. I, it looks like maybe my Lord, actually. It looks like the battle is definitely going our way. <laughs> I mean, these attack animations are absolutely glorious. This, my friends, is truly total war. And like I said, nobody does battle simulators quite like the Total War franchise. And you know that I'm a big, big fan of battle simulators. If there's a battle to be had, I want to experience it. 
It looks like these guys over here are doing pretty good. Maybe a little bit too good. Please, beautiful airships, turn your attention to this group of soldiers right here and explodify them. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is absolutely glorious. It, it, like, remember guys, Sun Tzu once said, it's not a war crime if you don't get caught. And I, I don't think there's going to be many survivors of this battle. So I don't think we have a whole lot to worry about. <laughs> Oh, I love Total War. You can pretty much do any custom battle that you want with the existing factions and units. If you want to go all heavy spearmen, repeating crossbows, giant constructs that are huge terracotta warrior giants, massive artillery cannons, fine. And there's plenty of races to choose from. Ogres, my lord! You've got your four demons, Grand Cathay and Kislev, which is essentially an homage to China and Russia and Poland. Now, the Kislevites are obviously based off of Russia and Poland, right? And here is how you can tell for certain. You see that? Right there. Look look carefully. Yeah. Squatting Slavs. I mean, if that doesn't tell you the attention to detail they put into this game, nothing else will. But while the near infinite use of custom battles where, oh yeah, I want to go as demons, where you can literally fight in hell if you want, with a faction of demons who have like some of the coolest looking units in the game, including, no, not those guys, but they're, they're definitely cool. The little demons. Oh yeah. And this guy. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm not sure if there's a cooler looking unit in this game than these guys. Oh, they mad, but there's also campaigns where you can choose a number of different factions and have this turn-based experience. Once you choose a faction, depending on who they are, you get to choose between their different Lord who starts on different parts of the giant overworld map. And you may be asking yourself, Baron, well, you're getting paid to play this game. How do I know you know it's a good campaign? How do I know you're not some agent of Zinch trying to trick me? Yeah, I, I put in a lot of time in the second version of the game playing campaigns. Uh, 696 hours. Nice. Don't tell my wife about this. This is our secret. But you don't have to have played any of the Total War series as much as I have to jump right in. They've got this nice prologue campaign that you can jump into. That acts as a tutorial as well as sets up the main story. But you can play as Grand Cathay and have your little armies and protect the Great Bastion. Here, this giant Great Wall. Hmm, wonder where they got this inspiration from. That has to protect against like demonic armies running around in the chaos wastes to the north. You can like, oh, you know what? I, I want to build some cool buildings. Like, I'd really like to get dudes that have cool looking unicorns. Okay, I'll build that. And oh, look, an enemy army. I guess I'll just drag my army over here because it's kind of turn based and then boom, start myself a battle. I can auto resolve it or I can fight it myself. And then here you go to your start deployment. You can pick any kind of formational strategies you want. Obviously, some are a little bit better. I'm going to put my cavalry on the far flank over here because this looks like a pretty nice field for them to eat. No, that's doesn't make any sense. But maybe if I put my cavalry in this force and use them to ambush the enemy, that would be cool. All of these things you can do, and then you just go out and you fight. Move up, boys. Use the rocket blimps. Oh yeah, that reminds me why we're here in the first place. I want to see these things fight the ground variant. I want to see rockets on rockets on rockets in a beautiful custom battle. Because this campaign stuff is pretty awesome, but I really like the battles. And yes, there's ranked multiplayer, quest battles, multiplayer lobbies and even multiplayer campaigns with up to eight different people but i'm here for the battles oh and there's siege battles oh my juicy i'm genuinely curious who wins this battle the ground variant or the airship variant all things being equal i would guess it's whoever can fire the most rockets but that's why we have this a clash of titans now, if you hover over an enemy unit, you can see their range, right? So as we begin to set this up, we're both in range of each other. Although this Lord should probably retreat because he's about to get blown up. All right, so it looks like whoever fires first might also have a significant advantage here. And it looks like my airships have an advantage. Now their units aren't as big and blocky as say giant formations of infantry soldiers and they do have to maneuver into position, but they're starting to fire back. And look at this, this is what happens 
Oh my god. This is like everything I've wanted in a battle simulator game. It's just so much better. I can play campaign. I can use any different faction. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Look at that. And, and like the trees will block the rocket. So it creates this like gorgeous firework show, which although it's beautiful, it, it troubles me so because it's clear that my men are not being nearly as effective and efficient with their shot selection as I'd like them to be. Then again, they are unguided rockets. So what can I really expect? And terrain obviously plays a key part in battles. So here the ox laden artillery are moving into my left flank, their right flank. They're trying to get in a position to then fire on my airships. Hopefully they don't hit this beautiful little farmland. Kind of reminds me of the little farm I got going over in a, a nice celestial dewy valley. Oh, look, they're trying to target my lord. And actually they're doing a decent job. Sir, get out of there, run. Oh man, my airships are getting literally rocked right now. But you can see these little white flags. Yes. They are, in fact, retreating because there is a morale mechanic. For those of you who are not aware, like, you got to keep in mind that, like, Total War Warhammer 3 is a great game for both veterans like myself and newcomers to the genre. And if you want, like, it's one of the best Total War games there's ever been because there's just such a variety in units. I think some of the ones I've shown off today are, like, robotic-looking demonic cavalry. I mean, flying Chinese sky junks, Russian bear cavalry, and then all of the traditional style fighting troops you could imagine. So I think it's clear you want your rockets in the sky in giant airships. Otherwise, you're going to have a bad day. So the epic battle seems to be coming to a conclusion. I think it's pretty safe to say who's winning and who's not. Now, I really got to ask myself, how cool are bear cavalry? as we speed this battle up to prove who's the greatest. Now, if I tell them all to hunt down this poor artillery unit itself, man, these guys have some serious range. Now they're starting to fly into formation and keep in mind, we are at 4X speed right here. So <laughs> this is them moving quickly. <laughs> yeah, 96 deployed, zero <laughs> losses versus their deployment and losses. I, I think we know where that one went. But the question is, now, who would win? An entire army of war bear riders or a big angry demon? So now we have to ask the question, who would win? A big army of Russian bear cavalry or an army of the coolest looking guys? These just, they're called skull crushers. And honestly, you can kind of see why they're named that. But anyway, let me know if you guys do want to see more Total War Warhammer 3. And a big thanks to Creative Assembly and Total War for sponsoring this video. This game is supposed to release on February 17th, and here's a little spoiler for those of you who stuck around. February 17th is the due date of my child. So the fact that I got to get paid to play this game early made my entire year. It's probably the second coolest thing that's happened other than, well, hopefully, the birth of my child. So thank you. Make sure to check out the game for yourself using the link in the video description below. And remember that if you do buy Total War Warhammer 3, within the first week of release, you will get the Ogre Kingdoms DLC for free. More information in the description. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know if you guys do want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one.